<laughs> now it's time to test the day video again i have the xiaomi 14 ultra on the left in the center the iphone 15 pro max with a beautiful asia by the way just check yeah definitely cannot see the sky so clear with the hdr on the xiaomi and on the right i have the samsung galaxy s24 ultra guys so i'm here on top of thessaloniki and the thessaloniki castle which also used to be a prison it's part of the Ottoman Empire, Byzantium, so a lot of history here. But please appreciate the magnificent view that I'm able to give you. And let me know what you think down below, guys. Which phone is doing a good job? Now, just by looking at the viewfinder, I have a feeling that the sky is very dramatic on the iPhone footage and a bit more realistic on the S24 Ultra and also on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. As I told you, Chinese phones had a history of shooting bad video, but in the last years they managed to really improve. So I'm really eager to see also what you think. Now I'm going to initiate a run to test that stabilization. And one more time, a spin for you. And now guys, the moment to I'm gonna turn to the back cameras. And with this incredible view, we're gonna be able to test the zoom detailed everything before we go there let's address the video and sound quality from the front camera now we can all see that the xiaomi 14 ultra is not handling asia so well it overexposes the sky it's almost not present and we can also see that the iphone 15 pro max really puts a lot of dramatic effects so it's not so realistic my skin is not so red so the s24 ultra is a darker footage but it's way more accurate and i do believe it wins in the video domain from the front camera but now let's speak about the sound because what we see is that the s24 ultra also comes on top with sound quality xiaomi 14 ultra the sound quality is nice but the noise cancellation is bad and on the iphone 15 pro max i'm not able to recognize individual words so here the s24 ultra delivers better results on the video and with the sound from the front camera here it is guys the beauty of the Thessaloniki CD 4k 60 FPS for your viewing pleasure it's a marvelous city so I strongly recommend if you visit Greece northern Greece Halkidiki but that's Thessaloniki really a gem a lot of history here but this video is not about history guys this video is about <laughs> testing the cameras so Xiaomi 14 Ultra left center iPhone 15 Pro Max guys and on the right I have the Galaxy S24 Ultra let me know what you think down below in the comments which footage looks the best to you now guys I'm gonna center the phone and try to initiate 3 or 2 on the Xiaomi I'm gonna put 2x on the iPhone and I'm gonna put 3 on the S24 Ultra okay we have here i think the best possibility to test zoom so now i'm gonna go 5x on the xiaomi 5x also on the iphone this should be all optical and also 5x on the samsung galaxy s24 all right i'm gonna try to show you the same object and you tell me what you think down below in the comments where do we have the most details as i go high up with zoom so i'm gonna go now to 10x on the xiaomi 14 ultra 10x also on the iphone and 10x also on the s24 ultra and i'm really trying to show you the same object so let's pay attention to this church here and you let me know where do you think the video has the better quality i'm going to do a very slow pan so that you can appreciate a bit more of the c and also of the details and you let me know down below in the comments where do you think we have the best color okay so we have a ship here we try to get that ship in focus as i'm holding these three phones believe me they're very heavy the max zoom on the Xiaomi ultra is 15 uh, the max zoom on the iphone is also 15 and the max zoom guys on the s24 ultra is 20x so 20x s24 ultra 15x bolt on the Xiaomi 14 ultra and on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, okay? Let me show you the ship here and then also here. And of course, I'm gonna go now directly to the ultra wide. So, ultra wide on all these three phones. And you will let me know in the comments which of these transitions is the smoothest one. So, I'm gonna do now ultra wide to five on the Xiaomi, all right? This is how it looks. Very smooth, by the way, really impressive. Now, zero five to five on the iPhone. I would say the iPhone just a tiny bit slower compared to the Xiaomi. And now, 0.65 also on the S24 Ultra, which is probably even the slowest one. 
Is the Xiaomi 14 Ultra doing here the best? Oh my god, I think so. Yeah, it's absolutely impressive, guys. See, 0525 on the iPhone. It's very smooth, but also slow. And the moment it does the crop, you can see how it shifts. Now one more time, 0525. On the Xiaomi is really like a king, guys. Wow, Jesus, that's impressive. This really wins it, crazy. Now, S24 Ultra 0.6 to 5X. Oh my God. Now let's try to do a manual zoom. So this is here from 0.6 to 20X on the S24 Ultra. Oh my God, it's choppy, it's choppy. All right, now, staying back to 1X. Now I'm gonna do the same on the iPhone. Okay, 15 to 0.5. I would say quite nice. Now, when you do it like this on the iPhone, it's nice, yep. Now let's check the Xiaomi guys, 0.5 to the 15X, yeah maybe this test is won by the iPhone. And now guys, I'm gonna go back to 1, now let's try to do a stabilization test. So I'm gonna run towards the fence and see how the phone behaves. Very, very nice. I'm giving you one more spin of the beautiful Thessaloniki guys. And remember, if you enjoy videos like this, you're more than welcome to enjoy subbing for a channel. And before I showed you the night video samples, let me share with you my opinion on the back camera performance. Overall, I'm very happy with the quality. All three phones are doing very nicely in terms of HDR and the way they process the video. I have still some remarks about the sound quality from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Isolation of wind noises and noises in general is very bad. So the Galaxy S24 Ultra Tints the voice, but still is able to do a very nice sound isolation, voice isolation. So I would really give the crown of the sound to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, in terms of the zoom lens cycle, I was really, really very impressed from the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Being able to switch so quickly from the ultra wide to the 5X was just amazing. iPhone 15 Pro Max also comes really second, very close, and I'm a bit disappointed with the camera lens switch on the S24 Ultra. It's still choppy, it's of course a bit better than the predecessor S23 Ultra, but it still lags behind from the iPhone current generation and the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. But again, the video quality on the web cameras from these three phones is nice and outstanding. Okay, now let's see some night samples. 4K 60 FPS, Xiaomi 14 Ultra on the left, iPhone 15 Pro Max in the center and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra on the right. As I'm working here in Thessaloniki, Greece, you have the chance to explore the explosion of colors. And also let me know what do you think down below in the comments, like which phone is able to capture a better video, right? I'm gonna do a slow turn, okay? I have to tell you that I'm not impressed with the S24 Ultra Night video apparently, but this is only what I see in the viewfinder, so eventually I hope it's gonna come out better. And the iPhone 15 Pro Max seems to be very bright, by the way, as I can also see from the viewfinder. So, Xiaomi 14 Ultra, is this a big leap forward? Really hope so, because Chinese phones were not great in video in the last few years, but they've improved a lot. Now, pay attention, guys, I have a lot of artificial lights, and I have the sky here, so it's very important to see how the sky is rendered, like noise handling. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a good test to see what happens. And now I'm going to initiate a run to test the stabilization. Front camera, all right. And now, again, explosion of colors. The Xiaomi 14 Ultra tends to overexpose the bright areas, which completely blow the highlights, and that's not okay. The S24 Ultra is a tiny bit too dark for my preference. So overall, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has the best video from the front camera, maintaining a very nice exposure, showing enough details in the highlights and also in the dark shadow areas. Now let's check the back camera, guys. We're checking for the same things with some artificial lights. All right. And now let's check the focus handling. All right. iPhone. Xiaomi 4 Ultra, by the way, not bad. The iPhone and also the S24 Ultra. One more time. Okay, and uh, now artificial light, lens flare, all right. Now I'm gonna do another turn for you to be able to experience the light. And now guys, let me just do a slow run to test the video stabilization. Is it good or not? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Now I'm going to go into a section where we have even more artificial light 
This time it's yellow. Why? Well, I want to test the white balance handling. So let's see how that works. All right. And also, by the way, we have the dark sky. Now, why is this scene important, guys? Well, we have the dark sky. Then we also have artificial light. And down below, we have also a white light. So we have a combination of a white light, a yellow light, a blue sky, and also this very beautiful rotunda in Thessaloniki, Greece. In front of me, there is a big tree. And now I can give you the night sky. So let me know what you think down below, which video was better. One more time, I'm gonna do a spin for you. All right. I still believe that the video with the back camera on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is still the best out of these three. Second place is for the sharing 14 Ultra. Galaxy S24 Ultra has still some serious issue with very dark scenes and it adds a lot of tint to the sky. It's very unnatural and I really hope that Samsung will be able to improve this with future updates. Let's start with photos from the main camera. This is shot on One X and all three photos look very uniform. A close-up shot here reveals no big changes. We are now engaging with 3x, so it's 3 2 x optical zoom on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, 3x on the Galaxy and there is no 3x on the iPhone, so I would say it's hybrid. What is important to be noticed here is that for the first time we see a big difference in the overall exposure. The photo from the S24 Ultra is very uniform to the photo from the iPhone in terms of overall exposure and also white balance, but the one from the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is different. It's a bit more on the darker side, different white balance. It has a very different feeling. The first photo sample from the ultra wide reveals the same perspective. The S24 Ultra photo is aligned with the one from the iPhone and the Xiaomi 14 Ultra has a darker touch. Although all the photos you see in this comparison are shot with the Leica mode. Proceeding with a photo sample from the main camera shot on this dark and rainy day and you can see how the three phones handle situations quite differently. The 2x crop from the main sensor is able to preserve quite a lot of detail on all the photos and again here the difference is just the overall feeling. Engaging with the 3x camera we can see some of the very small first tiny differences, a bit more detail in the Xiaomi 14 Ultra 3.2x photo. 5x zoom is optical on all these three phones. I like the level of detail, very nicely handled. I don't like the fact that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is oversaturating the sky. And Xiaomi 14 Ultra and S24 Ultra were able to preserve the real feeling in that rainy day. Going back to the main camera will only reveal how close these phones are sometimes in the way they process things. This is a very, I would say, equalized output from all these three phones on the main camera. On this example shot on the main camera, I like the footage from the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. It really comes very closely to what my eyes were able to see. The iPhone 15 Pro Max photo seems to be off in terms of the white balance and the Galaxy S24 Ultra is also some kind of a hue. So the most realistic photo here for sure is the one on the left shot by Xiaomi 14 Ultra. It's time to check the 3x zoom, a good job from all of the phones, very good output, although Xiaomi 14 Ultra really is again the best for me in terms of color accuracy and reproduction of the real feeling. This is a 2x crop from the main camera, pay attention to the details, we're still able to see what's happening outside, so in terms of HDR all phones did a good job. And now it's time to see how well these phones handle people and faces. Yes faces indeed, because Xiaomi 14 Ultra claims to have master portrait, but in this situation you can see how overexposed the face is. So I don't like the output here on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. The iPhone and the S24 Ultra did a better job in this particular shot. And yes, we can still see the overexposing of the face in the next shot as well. See how natural the S24 Ultra photo is and the one from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This disappointed me a bit because I really hoped for the Xiaomi 14 Ultra to be the best in portrait photography and that's not quite the case, but I hope that they can make it better with updates in the future. And in those examples again we see how Xiaomi is just lightening the face and iPhone and Samsung are able to produce a more natural skin tone and color rendition. 
All right, let's go back to HDR testing. This is a very hard shot. I am standing inside and shooting outside. And yes, we're still able to see what happens outside, which is actually a very good recognition for all these three phones. In this example shot from the main camera, we can see that the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is taking the edge a bit. You can see how well it preserved all the details. All right, let's speak about zoom. Just as a reference, we are going to be zooming on this object and this here is a shot from the main camera. This is already a 3x shot. So far so good. Remember the iPhone doesn't have 3x optical and it's doing still a very good job. This here is a 10x shot and I have to say I'm really impressed with the zooming capabilities from the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. It's able to preserve a lot of detail and it looks really sharp. Not too sharp, I think just quite right. And I'm even more impressed with the 30x shot. See here, fading out on the iPhone. iPhone can only do 25x by the way. The S24 Ultra seems also to have lost some of the zooming capabilities. You know they upgraded the 10x optical sensor, replaced it with a 5x, so I'm even not sure if that's an upgrade. But the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is able with AI and without AI zoom to give a very nice output when shooting 30x. And I do believe that this next example will prove this. Starting from the ultra wide, going to a shot from the main camera. This here is a 3x shot, bit overexposed on the iPhone. This here is the proper 5x optical shot from all three phones. This is the 10x shot and we can see that the iPhone is already getting softer, right? But still, I would say quality level is nice. And now the shocker guys, 30x you can see iPhone has a lot of noise but it's still realistic the S24 Ultra looks like a kind of a painting and the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is really so crisp is insanely good and now let's turn back to low light these phones should be able to do some very nice photos in low light and yeah we're here to test it this is a footage from the main camera and this here is a 5x optical zoom from all three phones. I'm really happy with the output. And now pay attention, this is 10x. Really impressive shot by the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Very good shot on the S24 Ultra. In fact, I do believe that the S24 Ultra was able to give the best shot here with all the details and you can see all the marks on the hand of the lady. And I'm disappointed with the iPhone 15 Pro because it just turned the night into a day. And this is not really how I like it. We're looking here at a twilight example, 2x crop from the main cameras. I would say quite nice and consistent result. The 3x photo already shows some processing differences in terms of how white balance is handled and the overall feeling is absolutely different. I like the footage from the Xiaomi 14 Ultra because it really comes close to what my eyes were able to see. And another 5x example, all phones doing quite okay. And now we are slowly approaching the territory of night photos. This is a shot from the main camera. The sky from the iPhone photo looks bad. So here Xiaomi and Samsung definitely better result. The 3x zoom photo comes close on all these three phones. And so does the 5x. No major or big differences. Another interesting shot from the main camera combining different light sources. We have yellow light and white light and all three phones are quite decent. But pay attention because it's really getting interesting right now. In this scenario, you can see how well the Xiaomi 14 Ultra was able to control the exposure, not blowing the highlights, which results in the fact that we're able to see the actual bulb inside. A terrible job on the iPhone, also in terms of lens flare handling, which is quite bad, and it looks very, very yellow. So the white balance is totally off and circuit the same result on the S24 Ultra. Now I have to make this disclaimer, all these photos are shot as a point to shoot camera. So I know that you can play with EV manually, most probably also get the exposure down to also visualize the bulb on the other phones. But this is what an automatic point to shoot photo will get. So impressive results and impressive exposure control on the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. This is a shot from the ultra wide. And you can see how bad the S24 Ultra photo is. The sky is completely ruined and the details, it's really very ugly iPhone 15 Pro Max a bit better and this here is the same shot but from the main camera where the differences are not so drastic. Now let's talk about night portraits and I have to tell you I was disappointed by Xiaomi 14 Ultra again because you can just see it's not able to handle white balance so the skin tone is yellow and that's not accurate but also the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Galaxy S24 Ultra were able to 
shoot better portraits, even in night. Yes, I know, it's surprising, but this is how I see it. A few more night snaps after the rain. I really love the aesthetics of this photo and I'm very happy with the result on all three phones. This is shot on the main camera. And now a tricky scenario. Why? Well, we have here different light sources and some very strong light sources. The 3x shot is already showing some artifacts on all three phones. And in this scenario, you can see how well the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is able to control the exposure, meaning limiting the highlights, but not also trying to crush the shadows. And I really believe that in the next scenario, this is quite obvious. Pay attention to the figures. S24 Ultra, they're very much illuminated. And this is also the case in the real life. You can see there is a very strong light source. But Xiaomi 14 Ultra was able to expose the stereo and the figures quite well so that we can see a lot of them. iPhone 15 Pro Max came second and S24 Ultra sadly came third. Yet another great example how different HDR processing can be on all of these three phones. I do love the output here, although it's not equalized. This here is a 3x zoom photo. I'm happy with the output on all three phones. And this is a similar scenario but with 5x again no major complaints here this is it guys i really hope that you enjoy this video if that's the case well just sub for the channel share with your friends like it and please stay safe thanks so much for watching vst over and bye